Okay, hello there. Uh, my name is Daniel O'Neill. I'm uh, just going to do a quick uh, development log here. Um, so I guess a quick overview of what I'm actually doing since this is the first uh, development log. Um, making a game, I'm calling it Swords and Sorcery for now, just because I think that'll fit the theme, theme fairly well, but that's more like just a code name. But anyways, what I'm going for is a sort of an RTS uh, 4X type game. That's, that's the end goal, I guess, of what I'm going for. Something like a Sins of a Solar Empire, but I'm trying to do that, but basically put it in a fantasy setting, um, because I think that'll be pretty cool. But, uh, anyways, I just figured I'd do a quick uh, development log. Uh, if, um, I don't know if anyone will, will actually find this interesting, but more so uh, to convince myself to work on this consistently every week. Um, so, just to show what I got so far, it's not a whole lot, but uh, basically, I just got mo oh, I've got models, models loaded and stuff. Uh, you can see there's definitely some problems. There's a. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Well, it's not really that hard to explain. But these little uh, things are kind of embedded within each of these objects. These are. Uh, they're supposed to be offset, but um, when the models are imported, I need to figure out how to get those offset correctly so the models display properly. Uh, each of those are separate objects in the original uh, Blender model. Um, so that's a problem I need to fix. But. Uh, yeah, so I got so far here is just loading models in. Each of these are buildings. Uh, these yellow and brown things over here are units uh, and everything. You can't really tell all this stuff because the offsets aren't working correctly, but that's the thing I'll need to fix at some point. Um, so I've got picking working so I can hover over stuff so you know what's selected. Uh, nope. Kind of got uh, rectangular picking so I can do that. Select everything in the in that rectangle. Um, if I only select a single item down here, you can see the UI changes to this uh, form, which uh, just tells you the name of what's selected, and it only does it if you have one thing selected. Because if you have two, then uh, they'll give that will eventually give you like a grouping of units and buildings and stuff. But um, since I've only got one selected, it'll give you the name of the unit or building, and there's the health bar, and it's just randomly changing right now, but eventually that'll show the unit or building's actual health. Uh, this is your resources, um, and I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, yeah, this is a problem, the uh, placement's not working correctly. I can do a, if I do it from certain angles it'll work. So if I say I want to place a laboratory, so if I do this from certain angles it works okay, but not as good as I want. It's a. Uh, you can see that I move it up a little bit, move my mouse a little bit, but the building moves really, really far. So that's another thing to fix. But I can place it down here. You'll see that uh, resources get uh, decreased by the cost of whatever the thing is. And that'll cause you to generate resources. 